Hey folks, my name's Ed Trevers. My pronouns are he, him, and his. I'm an Anglican priest serving in the beautiful parish of Christ Church, Shelburne, that sits on the ancestral and on the unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. I want to tell you a little story. It's an observation. It's something that happened to me recently that, that reminded me of something that I want to strive for in my life. As a lot of you know, my youngest son suffers from juvenile arthritis. And um, the other day, he and I were walking through a department store, Costco. And uh, of course, I was pushing a cart and he was walking beside me. He had one hand on the cart, which kind of drives me nuts because he keeps pulling it in his direction. But anyway, he had one hand on the cart and he was singing. And it kind of it broke my heart a little bit. He was singing this wonderful, silly, little, goofy song that he was making up in the moment. And when I looked down and watched him, watched him move, watched him limp, watched him drag his leg, but heard that beautiful noise coming out of him, that beautiful, little, silly song, I was reminded that that's how I want to be. Now for those of you, and I don't think I've mentioned this on this channel, Charlie's arthritis is, is worse than we knew. Uh, it's in his feet, it's in his ankles, it's in his knees, it's in his neck, it's in his jaw. Just recently, it's in his toes. So the treatment that we are on is not going to continue. The doctors who are very positive and wonderful and amazing at the IWK in Halifax, they're telling us that they're on this and, and we're going to try something. We're going to try the next phase of the treatment and they have a great deal of confidence. But Charlie's in a lot of pain. He's in a lot of pain when he walks. He's in a lot of pain when he puts his boots on in the morning. His ankles and feet are swollen that that it causes him a great deal of pain to slip, his, to slip his little feet into those things. And yet here we were walking through a department store with that little limp of his and he's singing this goofy song around all these strangers and it reminded me of my desire to be be joyful in all circumstances. In, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, Paul tells us, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Jesus Christ. It's one of those passages that kind of makes you cringe because I'm not entirely certain how I'm supposed to pull that off. What do you mean I'm supposed to be rejoice always? In, give thanks in all circumstances, pray continually. Well, maybe I could pray continually, but how am I supposed to always be joyful? How am I supposed to always be giving thanks, no matter what's befalling me? Well, for Paul, this is the gold ring that we're supposed to be striving for. This is the gold ring we're supposed to be reaching for, to get to that place spiritually, where regardless of whatever's going on in the physical world around us, regar regardless of whatever's going on in our bodies, regardless of whatever's going on in our, in our environment, we are always able to find our joy, which is Jesus Christ. No matter what, no matter what befalls us, no matter what comes our way, no matter what surprises us, no matter what consequences we face, no matter what evil comes our way, that we are always able to be joyful in Jesus Christ. We are always able to feel our spirits uplifted, filled with gratitude and wonder and awe. Now, I'm not going to tell you that all children are able to do this. I'm not going to tell you that Charlie does this all the time. Neither of those statements are true. 
So for me to say, well, the trick is that we should, we should be like children, perhaps. Because there is something really amazing about kids. Kids have a way of, of playing no matter where they are, no matter who they're with. Two kids can have a fist fight one minute and three minutes later be playing with their trucks in the dirt, happy together. There is something truly wonderful and truly magical about a child. And so there is probably something for us to learn. I don't exactly know how to get to that place except to practice it. Except that when I experience those moments of pain and injury and suffering, to remember these lines and to force myself to practice it. I want to be, I want to be like Charlie when I grow up. I want to cast aside my laments. I want to cast aside my complaints. I want to cast aside my grief. And though I'm feeling pain, and his limp is an indicator that he's feeling pain, I want to sing. I want to be filled with so much joy that I can't stop myself from singing in public around a whole bunch of people who don't know me. I want to sing when I don't even realize that I'm singing. I want to be able to sing through those moments. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face be made to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord's countenance be lifted up to you and may you always know the peace of being in the Lord's presence. And I pray as your times of trial come. That your spirit will help you to rejoice, will help you to pray, and will help you to give thanks regardless of the circumstances. I pray you'll sing like Charlie. Amen.